Uh, we spent a pretty long night. I'm sure none of you have seen these before on me, but uh, let's break it on down and see what's been happening. Uh, the main report that we've been watching for is this tornado report that was there from last night. Uh, we have Ilse Luhan and Hayes live in the field at that location. Actually, this morning we're going to break it down even more from for you from that tornado that went through. All of these reports are all that damage path from southeast Saginaw County into Tuscola County. It was a long track for this tornado, so. As we go through the morning, the damage survey from the National Weather Service will be interesting to see. That tornado was also very close to the NBC 25 studio uh, last night. We also, while doing coverage, uh, Ty and myself had to usher the crew back into uh, the back of the building to make sure that we took cover as well. We're all in this together. It's all we're all one big mid Michigan family. So uh, when we issue the warnings for you guys, we're also making sure that we uh, take care to give you the best that we can because we are in it with you. 77 degrees for our southern counties today. Sunshine, less humidity, so that's the good news, but it takes a little while to go away. It's very muggy this morning, so the less humid air is coming much later during the day. 78 degrees for your high today uh, in the Tri-Cities and the Thumb, still with the breezy conditions, still with the sunny skies. It's actually a really nice next couple of days. 76 degrees for the northern counties, still uh, actually a little cool. It's a little below normal, but with the sunshine and with the uh, breezy conditions as well. Now you can see we've got very clear skies, very little in the cloud cover with our future cast. As we head into 530 tonight, we're still watching for mainly just the sunshine on the second full day of summer. Can you think about that for a second? Yesterday was the first full day of summer and we got blasted with severe weather. Kind of, uh, I think it's ironic, right? Ironic's the right word to use there. I was never very good at, uh, at uh, language arts, unfortunately, in school. You've got the clearing skies still into Wednesday morning and into Wednesday afternoon. Then we've got an isolated shower chance that comes in Wednesday night and also into uh, Thursday. So watch for those on Thursday. Luckily, Thursday does not look like a severe weather day, so that's the good news. Uh, 83 degrees for your high tomorrow. Watching for the 70s still in the forecast. Looking at a lot of sevens actually on that forecast page there. We'll uh, keep an eye out as we head into the weekend for some cloud cover to really build on in. 